Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 533. Is it? Yes, it is. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So, first up is My Little Pony G5 uh, Night Light Figure Details plus Size Comparison for Blind Back Ponies. Uh, pony Night Lights, anyone? We've got this six. Reveal out of China fully this time, showing off the various poses and characters that will be in the set, and joining them, some size comparison for the blind back ponies. They are about the same as the G4 ones, a bite, uh, a bite with bigger heads and different features. Check them out below. Alrighty then, so what are we getting? So I'm guessing this is the blind bags. Pretty cool, not bad. And these are the night lights. And this is how they're coming in. Huh. So not no no okay. We got the product here, we got the sample here, how they look. Huh, so what? Uh I, I see there's six double easy. No, double sunny. <clears throat> so, this is pretty cool. Um, can't say much about the blind back figures because they're just random and interesting, I guess. So, yeah, if you collect them, that's awesome. I haven't seen any of this here locally. Um, this this reminds me of the One Piece uh, Nightlight by... I think by... Fun, no, 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 no fun cool. What do they call themselves? Popmart, yeah. I think they're from Popmart, but uh, it comes in a big box. They have USB C cables, and it's just a night light. It's pretty cool, and yeah, the 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 what do you call this? <laughs> As you can see, this one here is just the ponies on top, and being acting all cute. The One Piece one was the characters uh, sleeping on a bed, something like that. I, I don't remember what kind of beds. But yeah, this, this is going to be cool. Uh, night lights are pretty fun. So moving on, Symbio Studios T Spike Plush. Yay! Another plush, uh, plushie is coming from Symbiote. This time it's Spike follows uh, this follows the final scratch teasers from the other day. Hmm. And that teaser would be here. Huh. Uh, Symbio Studios DJ Pong 3 vinyl scratch incoming. Luna and the Lyra Bonbon aren't the only ones coming from Symbiote. We apparently have vinyl scratch on the way. All we have is this teaser so far. Hopefully, uh, get the foot pony soon. That's pretty cool. So Symbiote has been really going deep into the pony plush thing because as far as I can remember, the only one that's done a few or all the main six was um, what's, uh, 4DE. They, they did some and I, I think they only cover from uh, main, the main six, Twilight to Princess Twilight. So that's seven uh, in total. This, uh, as far as I can remember, and their plush is pretty good. Uh, they're good in quality. They f they they look nice. They feel nice, and the models are to proportion. Like they they look so accurate, as accurate can be from the company. And the prices was how much were you? Twilight, uh, twenty twenty five dollars. So yeah, that that was kind of cool. But Symbiote here has been going really hard. They've been doing the main six princesses, um, Twilight, sorry, um, Starlight, Trixie, and so on. So they've been really going hard. And uh, like what? We got Lyra, sorry, we got uh, DJ here, sorry, um, Vinyl, and we got some Spike. And Spike is a really interesting one. Um, where is mine? 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there you are. You got buried under all the stuff I have. Alright, cool, 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 my bad. So, anywho, um, interesting here for Spike is that normally he won't get much special treatment in terms of plush from third party sellers, but funny enough, I got. Oh no! Oh no, I need, I need to clean you up, but funny enough, I got a Spike here. And he doesn't really look so accurate and whatnot, but he just looks kind of cool and awesome. And um, he's kind of, well, <laughs> I'll say this spike costs about $10 at a time. Probably cheaper. But I really do need to clean you up, my friend. Oh no, you, you have stains on you. I, I'm not sure what that's from. But anywho, uh, keeping my OCD aside for cleaning him up later on for after this recording. Uh, yeah, so Spike has his own special thing and it's Hasbro official. But seeing what Symbiote can do would be very interesting. So talking about DJ Pwn 3, more DJ Pwn 3 G4 music incoming plus G5 titles from Daily Tale number 2. Uh, a website called Music Brains has... This is a two new album, including Tell Your Tale, the second album, and DJ Pontry Presents, uh, the remix volume 2. If you missed the previous release from DJ Pontry Collection, uh, check them out here in the links. Uh, hit on below for the details on this. Uh, so, release date uh, May 10th. Uh, this year, 2024, uh, Best Friends best Forever is this uh, dream. And this is from, I think, the second album. And then you got the DJ Pwn 3 Presents Remix Volume 2. I think this is all from Equestria Girls. Welcome to the show, Equestria Girls. Friendship is Magic, Make, cross, make Your Mark, then Smash Up. Okay, that's certainly a G4 and G5. Uh, Equestria Girls, Cafeteria Song, Time to be Awesome. So yeah, that's a lot of uh, G4 influence and Equestria Girls. And a bit of G5, just one track I think. So that's going to be very interesting. And yeah, I, I think some of the album have popped out and you can go listen to. And to be honest, I got no idea where you're going to listen to this because it's, the, the, it doesn't seem to be online on like Apple Music or Spotify, as far as I know. Maybe it's on Spotify, I got no idea what I'm saying. But <clears throat> let's move on to the other news. What's this? Uh, I did this, okay, this one. More shots of Dinosaurs Rainbow Cutie Series G5 MLP Blind Black Figures. Uh, the International Merchandise World continues with more shots from Dinosaur's new Rainbow Cutie Blind Bag series for the My Little Pony Generation 5. Sorry, for My Little Pony Generation 5. We've, we've got some neat si signage showing of each of them. Much closer up than the picture we posted in previous announcements about this. So, okay. Isn't this the previous one we saw? Yeah, 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 this is it, this is it. So yeah, these are just blind bags and so on. They're 4 centimeters tall. 4 centimeters are... Probably about an inch, I think? So, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. And... Huh. Oh. Fascinating. Okay, so... This is specifically to this one um, blind bag series. Uh, yeah, it, it's this. This is the cloud one. I, I'm. We're focusing on this one. So from what I can clearly understand, there's the main five, not including the new one that just came in. So there's five of them, and there's multiple versions of. 
them. Uh, seeing here you got multiple colors and so on. So have your pick. Uh, it seems that each of them have their own style specific for them. Like uh, Sunny has this kind of uh, let's zo let's zoom in and see what we get. Uh, it seems that she has this metallic uh, coating on her, and with a zip, she doesn't have anything similar to what Easy have. Sorry, Sunny have. Uh, Easy here has the same thing too. Nothing uh, that makes her stand out. Um, Pip, Pip, Pip. Yes, Pip here has the same metallic coating that is that Sunny has, and um. Name of pony here. Mm, I forgot. Damn. Uh, he has the same thing. So this is pretty cool. Uh, honestly, not my jam. But if they're around, I probably see it and consider buying. Probably. So let's see what we're up to now. I think it's the last one. We did this. We did this. 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 And now this. All right. Prior is up for My Little Pony, a Zephyr Hype Mystery on Amazon. Outright Games have dropped a bunch of teasers off as well as a pre-order trailer for the new My Little Pony, a Zephyr Heights Mystery game in celebration of the pre-orders opening right now. We expect release uh, we expect release Date is May 17th on this one. Have some links. <coughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, yeah. It is on all system. And as per usual, I'll get it. I'll play it. And I'll record it. And put it up on the site here. Or on, on this page. And tell you guys that, ah, this is fascinating. If I remember right, um, this game has multiplayer, so that's awesome. But oh man, this this is one of those things where the game is fascinating. I would say, uh, how how do I put this? It's meant for kids. It's it's really meant for kids. It's it's aimed for a younger audience, and the the game. Uh, I, uh, to be honest, I, I want to say that it's meant for kids, but when you really think about it, Fortnite and Roblox and Minecraft have adult level complexity, but also meant for kids. So I guess it's just, if you're a fan and you want to show support, probably go buy and uh, Hasbro will think, oh, people like this and we'll make more. And yeah, I, I, for me, I'll just buy it because it's fun and you guys don't have to play it. So you don't have to suffer through what I have to suffer. Man, remember back in the days, playing the game was fun. Especially the, the part where I have to face the bunnies. Like, damn, that, that was just something else. So uh, that's the news for this week. So let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my month, I guess. So yeah, uh, if you notice this, sorry, work has been piling up and I have to do work. Adult stuff, yay. But besides that, I've been doing the same old, same old. Uh, playing Magic the Gathering, D&D. &D. Uh, nothing, nothing new on the Magic front because a lot of things are going, are going on and the environment for it has slow down a bit it is it's been i won't say stagnant it's been ups it has its ups and downs new people come in new people uh new people come in uh come and play and then they leave and so on it, it's not a consistent thing where we have this consistent player base coming in and so on now it, it, it's one of those things where we just come, it comes and goes it comes and goes so it's not that bad, but still, it's fun. It's fun. As for D and D, yeah, it, it, we, 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 the campaign's still going. I haven't really updated anything because I've been distracted and editing the D and D. Even though it's easy, it takes a lot of time. 
which is annoying. So yeah, on 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 another note, I've been working out. I've been playing badminton. So I'm not sure if I told you guys that, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. So the place I play it's at a court where you really need to have the gears like well technically the gears is just a badminton racket and some badminton shoes uh, and you're probably wondering what are badminton shoes it's just normal sneakers but meant for the badminton court so yeah got that and I've been really going in sweating it out and whatnot and trying to keep healthy yay so I think that's about it uh, let's wrap it up guys let's wrap it up so if you guys have any questions concerns, or suggestions for the show you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com you can also reach us on the twitters the show's twitter page is at norman <laughs> sorry is at mbs show and my personal twitter page is at norman sanzo uh, also please subscribe and rate us on itunes and youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date links will be in the show notes if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and Master Black. Thank you so much, guys. You have been great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next... <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week with another fan episode on the show. See ya.